Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Captain of Industry. It's Captain Ghost. I'm about to get demoted, though. <laughs> I, I don't know if I could recover. Uh, this fluid storage has been... Um, yeah, it's... it's Yeah. Um, I'm wondering why these aren't running. This stupid oil. Hold up. Yeah, I uh, I think that I may have made a mistake <laughs> with the oil. Um, I I don't know if I should be bringing more oil in here and piping it around now, but I was uh, I've got this. Oh, I was looking at poppies in order to do medical twos at twenty four. Um. We need we need two poppy greenhouses, at least. I think it's two, yeah. So I was looking at that, and I wanted to show. I left that up there because I wanted to show that off. So I was looking at the medical twos. Um, I haven't had a need for them. Uh, I switched this over to fruit now, finally. So we got four fruit producers. Now I, I don't know. I was watching. I was editing a little bit because I try and you know. If there's a lot of, I'll catch myself babbling and I'll cut stuff out. So you'll see like jump cuts. Um, I try to be strategic with them so they're seamless. But uh, so I was cutting and I'm like, wait a minute. I just realized something. Each one of these has a unity attached to them. I didn't realize, I thought, so, you know, and that's why um, I'm bouncing around. My unity is up, down, up, down. Because we run out of fruit or we run out of, you know, vegetables, you know, whatever. Or you run out of meat, and then you have meat. You run out of meat, you have meat. So that's what's confusing, because this, you know, you think you have the unity, then you don't, because you're not producing consistently. So if you want to maximize your unity from the settlement, as far as food goes, I had, I'm like, oh, we want to supply potatoes, corn, and bread, because then you get 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and 0 0.3. So that's um, 0.6 unity because the, the community's happy. They have um, choices, I guess, right? And you extend that to the protein, 0.4, that's 0.7, that's 1, and that's 1.1. 1 .1. So 1.1, and then you have, um, was that 6? So that's 1.8. Then you have um, 2.3. And then you have, um, that's six, seven, eight. So another 0.8 for the treats. So the if you could supply everything, you get a bone, you know, so you don't want to cut off potatoes or corn. You want to do potatoes and corn and bread and all this. And then you can maximize the amount of unity that you're getting. This is just a health bonus that will count towards your overall health minus your pollution because you're all, you're never going to get rid of pollution you can minimize it by 75 percent so that was i'm like wait a minute i was looking at, i wasn't even looking at that and so this is great because i'm learning you know um this game just got i mean it's really really cool <laughs> now our corn is way way too high i mean we can see that right um, our eggs are, f I mean, I'm okay with the eggs being the way they are because this, the chickens just produce eggs and that's it. Their eggs are used in other things. I think the cakes. So I'd rather have, I'd rather be overproducing eggs than not, you know, at this point. So we are going to do definitely the bread and we're going to get that out of the way. Um, the vegetables, I kind of, since I shut them off, we'd have to do them somehow somewhere else. <laughs> Anyway, but I mean, I'm learning good stuff. I'm learning good stuff. Um, I definitely want to play. If I were to play this again, my strategy right now is this is the way I'm thinking. If this save gets bricked, which it very well could be, you know, I mean, at any given time, uh, your save can get bricked in this in in this way of in this play. This type of game can brick any time. If it does brick, what I would do is I would probably start a new one and then 
employ those strategies that I've learned with the new save. You know, one stop shop boats, you know, instead of multiple products, do all one product. And then be careful, you know, like have to be sure to position the boats so that we can get more boats per shoreline, you know, and all that. Because uh, right now, when I was watching these stupid things run around with a fuel, and they are running to these boats, it's in massively amounts of stuff. So a lot of, I think a lot of things I, I did in the beginning were wasteful. Um, and, you know, up until now, I've been just kind of, I've been having fun and playing and don't get me wrong, it's been awesome. Uh, but they require you to be a lot more tighter than I am right now. So I'm a little worried about the fuel. Now, here's what happened. This boat is sitting here unloading coal and my oil is sitting here i have no diesel uh, or no oil for diesel none and i'm like oh my god are you kidding me so that's upsetting um before i think before i started running the uh solar panels the boat would go for oil more you know it would go oh oil's out go but now it's like, oh, I'm unloading coal. Your, your oil can wait. <laughs> yeah, screw you. So I can either... Oh, I added this here uh, off screen as well in hopes that this boat won't run as much because it's running constantly. Here it comes now. Let's see how much wood it has. Okay, see, now it has two full things of wood. And what I'm hoping is to minimize the amount of travel on this one, at least. So look, look how fast that is. This is almost all full with a thousand blah, blah, blah of wood. And I'm upgrading it. So let's see about, I want to upgrade that um, sawmill. Oh, we got to bring our, oh, great, we got to bring this home. Like I'm not having problems with fuel as it is. Well, let's do it, you know, take it, take the, take your lumps, man. So yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that is bad. Finally. So now my oil gets slurped and this thing is just sitting here dip de duped in, you know, with the coal. It's literally unloading one at a time. So as this thing is chewing up, and this thing's chewing up, this thing is unloading. If I paused it, would that help get this thing out of here? Because I think it's going, oh, I'm unloading. So I need to stay here. Why did it do that? And then, it, oh, I'm going to go now. And now my oil is screwed right now. And I can't put a boat here. I can't fit it. I have to move all these pipes, and I don't even know if I could put a boat here. Let me see if I can fit something here. I might have to use that other one to bring oil in. Where is that at? Two. Why does it do that? Yeah, that's what run into that. Other than making this an oil boat as well. Why isn't it loading here? Did it not fill up? Would it fill up one? Or did it run out already? Could have ran out. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's frustrating. Because, uh, you know, you're trying to figure this stuff out. And then when you see it happening, you're like, well, okay, now what? You know, what am I supposed to do here? Now all my, see, my oil is gone. Completely gone. And then this thing is just sitting here. Oh, there's the oil. What the hell's going on? Where's my... Where's the oil at? Okay, now it's coming. In the meantime, I'm screwed, you know, because I have no diesel now. And it's going to... I'm going to start running out of fuel. Now, the other thing is, yeah, I'm running this, you know. And so there's 
more traffic because um, run, there's more running around because the things are things are running more than normal. I boosted this because I'm like I need to get on off of coal. <laughs> so this is running, this is running, this is running. See that's coming back now. That's running. My ship's back. Um, so yeah, I'm in a situation where I don't know if if I can get through this um, bad situation. I really don't understand why this stupid thing is unloading one coal at a time. You know, that, if this runs out, you should be going, oh, one thing ran out, go. I mean, yeah, aside from oil and all that. So I'm in a situation here. See, it's all full now. Yeah, when, when oil runs out, go. Instead, it's sitting there unloading one coal at a time. So that's not my problem. That's the game problem. And then, of course, look at how much oil or uh, fuel it took. A hundred. Oh, my God. I was planning on looping. I wanted to loop this over here um, to save traffic, you know. But if I do that, then they might not be able to grab fuel from over here. And, oh, man, this is not good. <laughs> oh, this is not good at all. Oh, well, that's built. Well, let's keep going with this. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I could put an oil truck here and then just have them drive it. Uh, but that's going to take fuel or an oil thing or oil. Uh, let's do a four. So let's see if I can get this thing over here. Ooh, perfect. Uh. Oh, it's going to run to that. Okay. Oh, I had to put that in there, that little water thing. Right there. Okay. Um, let's get this thing on. I'm going to tick that up a little bit. Fluid. Oh, I don't have a cargo ship, though. Crude oil. You saw me click it. it. I clicked it, and it actually pressed it. So I think it's the game, actually. I, I don't know. But I have to play another game to see if this thing will click. Great. Yep, here we go. There we go. Well, cue the, cue the death spiral, folks. Cue the, cue the death spiral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all the oil is gone. Yep. It just slurped it up. It's gone. So, you know, the only thing I can think of is, um, trying to quickly get on a, you know, like, well, I don't think I can get on a contract. Gosh darn this map. You try, you, you use the metal mouse button in the other one, but you don't hear. Yeah, see, I could trade... I'd have to establish this contract. I'd have to get rid of these vehicle parts to get uh, some oil. Because we have plenty there. Um, sawmill. Deliver. What I'm hoping to do is ex um, extend the... Get more use out of this. You know. Oh, it does have the wood in there. Okay. See, the longer this thing sits here, the better. It's going too many frequent trips, back and forth, back and forth. So here I have 180 wood in here now, right? And it looks like it's it's chewing up this one first. Which is kind of odd. Why would it do that one first? So my hope is that it'll sit here until all this wood is out of here. Because it's just going too frequently. And then coupled with that, the fact that this thing is going like crazy because of the oil, um, the coal. And, you know, that just kind of, you know, screams, you should have got on a coal. We should have got on nuclear. Well, what we should have done was got on solar sooner than I did now. And then that would have alleviated our coal issue. And that would have reflected back to the ship not running as much. 
because if I could have upgraded, the, got the solar, left this in place, gotten onto the arc furnaces, then then got into nuclear power to get off of coal completely with the arc furnaces, and then you can pull your solar out and upgrade it. Because solar is a great backup system. If if anything, it's a great. You know, if you're having an uh, an issue, you got solar right here. Um, 32 kilowatts, you know, in sun. Oh, wow, that's built already. I want to keep going with it, though. <laughs> Let's see if we can solve this problem, though. Oh, no. We're screwed. Oh, I forgot to unpause this. Now, we got to look at this one here. Is it this one? Trade. Yep. Oh, wow, we can visit it. I don't know why you'd want to do that after you're after it's all said and done. Hi! Unfortunately, we just spent all our red components <laughs> for that chip. And it's more oil or more... Uh, ouch! Yeah. Anyway. Oh, they built some of it. Oh, 60. Okay. Oh, how's our ship? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to kick that up. And then we'll have 2,400 in there. And this is an infinite resource. So and I don't mind about the, the workers right now because, you know, it is what it is. Um, so up oh, there it goes. So it's empty. That's what's key. Hopefully it comes back more full. Hey, it's going to meet our boat over there. So right now, why is it going over there? So right now it's got 1,400 in it. It's doing 96 every 60 seconds. So hopefully it can get up to like the 2,400 mark before it makes another trip. But I think that, you know, in this uh, playthrough, you know, on the medium mode, you really need to fast track upgrading these, staffing them, getting the people, getting the food. It's like I said, it's the Hydra. You know, you've got all this technology you got to do. You got to close all these loops that you can't close until later. You have to be able to build. If you don't know what the builds are, then you don't know how to plan for future, right? And that's kind of what I'm learning now as I'm kind of pushing more with this uh, thing here. There it is. Now it's, oh, it was 89% full. So hopefully this won't dry. You know, it'll come back with more full loads. Oops. When you do your mouse, middle mouse, it doesn't keep that window open. So I hope that we can get 2,400 in here by the time that unloads and empties, or empties, I should say. And then it'll come back with 2,400 as opposed to going there each time. Oh my god, what are you doing? See, th that should have waited. That should have waited. It still has wood in it. Oh, come on. That is not right. How am I going to... I guess I might have to do a balanced something or other with this. Because it's... It, it, I don't understand why it's not emptying from here and here. You know? It should alternate. So now what it's going to do is it's going to empty this out and go. <laughs> so a balancer maybe... Come on. I'm going to pause it. Oh, my God. This... I know. You know what? I... I Also, I'm thinking, you know, this is an alpha game. You know, it's in early access. So, there's a lot to be said about that, too. You know? You know what? I, I don't know if storages would help. I don't... If... Maybe a storage would help. A chonky boy? Let's do that. I don't know why I didn't think of that till now. Now let's do this. Oh. Quick remove. I want that out of here. Oh, you know what, though? Shoot. I don't have the red components. Export on. 
So I think that... Yeah. I hope that they deliver here at least to keep this thing running. So we'll have to see. Oh, can they do it? Yeah, there they go. There they go. Okay, well, at least, you know, I'm spending diesel to get diesel to where diesel needs to be. Oh, I was going to check on, um, let me pause it. 23 and 24, shoot. Well, and this is going to run out. All right, so I have to let that build up in the meantime. All right, so I'll have to go back to my original strategy, but let's do this, though. Um... Storage. Oh. I'm going to ghost this in. Wait a minute. Oh, wrong one. We need a unit storage three. So I'm going to ghost that so I know where I want to be. And then we'll take... And then we'll build this so we can just pop it in and out, you know. Um, flat, yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Flat. Why would you do that? When on that one you did that. <laughs> you dumbass. Oh. No, we'll do this. I'm fine with that. Okay, now we'll trash this. And then we'll do a flat from here to here. And then we'll unpause all that. And I'm thinking it should be okay to let them run it. Why is my Unity? Yeah, it's it. It's I th yeah, it's the food stuff. So when it's saying food three oh plus three oh seven, that's what the colony is requiring right now. I don't know. Why is that change? I think it changes because you're going up in population, maybe? I don't know what changes that. Let's see what this is here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Okay. I didn't think to mouse over that. That doesn't tell you much. <laughs> yeah, I know 269. So if we put in those... Um, the hospital, if we put the uh, medical threes, we'd probably get a boost on that too. And then, oh, look, 1.43 here on the bottom. Why is, where is that health coming from? I wonder if, well, this is 0 0.31. Yeah, see, that's kind of confusing. I, I think they need to work on getting more information here so you know what the hell you're looking at. I mean, this doesn't tell me anything. It tells me what this is. I know that. This is helpful. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, if I click on here. What the hell? Why? It... Wait. There it goes again. Yeah, see, it's bouncing around. I don't know. I don't know what's bouncing around. If it's pollution or what. Well, we did turn that damn uh, thing on. Oh, boy. So if you go, you mouse over this little eye, it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you anything. Base edicts, water, food, health care, 20. Health 72. That's what this number is. But we're taking a hit because of this, I think. So, yeah, these are taking away. These are giving. Um, current population size and all settlements on the island and their available housing capacity. Exceeding the capacity leads to an overcrowded. Yeah, no sh Yeah. There's flu severe. Yeah, I think that... Well, I could take this unity off here. Okay, it's working. Okay, 96. Let's unpause this one here. So, now it's minus 3.5. I don't know if this is going to fix my problem. But at least I have oil in here, and they can get it over there, and it can process something in the meantime. Because, you know, the main push here is this. 
we want to get the solar up and running, you know, um, so that we can get off coal. And then I'm hoping that it'll, we'll kind of, once we get this out of here, maybe we'll save a lot of fuel, you know, cause I'm belting the uh, ore and I'm belt, belting copper and iron already. I'm doing a lot more with limestone belting. Um, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I thought I'd, you know, I think it's important in the game, in the series to show these kind of things. It's not all roses and and uh you know sunshine you know um there's there's hardships here <laughs> yeah i don't care if you're low on fuel you son of a bitch i wonder if i just disbanded this well you know what's going to happen is if i do that then this is going to be affected a little bit because we are getting a lot of fertilizer out of this 2500 i think i'll bump that up a little bit man Screw you and your flu. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's almost done. All right, let's get back to this. I think what I'll do is I'll pause it because I don't want it to... Well, if it bricks, it bricks. I'd rather have it brick on series or on... on. Uh... <laughs> well, I want to build this while we're, we're while we're doing stuff. So let's get back to this thing. Okay, so we have everything up to here, except I think that... Are we missing anything, though? Let's see here. Um, T for transport. Oh, we got to resolve the this waste here. And we got the acid, even though that's open. So now we got to deal with this toxic slurry crap. Wastewater treatment. Okay. In recycling. And we need to make the media filter as well. We get slag, which is nice. Oh. Oh, we get brine and we get water back out. Oh, no, we need brine. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. We need brine. Well, let's get this wastewater treatment thing here under recycling. Darn it. This thing's a monster, too. So that's the input there. I think we'll go like this. And then we'll just... Well, I might have to move it over, actually, now that I think about it. Um, there's a pipe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll work. How much is coming out of here? Only six. This one here can handle 48. So we're looking pretty good there for one. We can do some massive expansion on this. Um, okay. So now, Brian is pretty easy. It's just, um... Where are you? Oh, up here. Yeah, it's just basically we could do um, an evaporation pond. And that's 24. We need 12. So an evaporation pond. Um, let's just take a quick look at this thing. Um, yeah. Oh, so it's just basically, I think, an air, the the difference between this one and the other one is one takes coal. Let's take a look at that. Heated. Oh, this takes electric. 60 kilowatts versus nothing. So I'd rather go with this one, you know, because we really don't need that, you know, um, throughput yet. So the seafloor pump is where here it is tall i don't think it's gonna fit down there in the water oh it does oh ho, 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 ho. okay nice i'm leaving that there and then we can cut this oh, come on and that's input yeah Go right there. Brine. Seawater 120. Only needs 45. That's fine. Uh, it's all the people that it's going to hurt, you know. Uh, let's go with this one here. Just because. So there's our brine. We'll just have to tie it in. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'll, I'll cut this and we'll position it better. So we got our brine. Um... It does kick out water, 
back wa out water out. Oh, interesting. Oh, 40 water? Wow. Where is it getting the water from? The acid gets the cake needs the acid. And this also, let's see. Where is that? Why I guess the acid is producing the water because this toxic slurry is coming out of here. Um, we got the acid from the hydrofluoric, but the hydrofluoric isn't used in that. It's used in this. Wow, how's it how's it kicking out forty water? Is my question. That's weird. So this water we can put over here, you know. Um. Okay, brine input, water input, or output. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's cut this out of here for now. Put it over here. And we have to figure this out here. So let's cut this. And then the fuel is right there. Of course, I'm building here. And I, I suppose, you know, knowing the inputs and outputs. What is this now? Oh, no. The household goods. It's my glass. Wait a minute. Wood? Rubber. Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no. Uh-huh. Yep. Wonderful. Wonderful. No fuel. Well, let's prioritize this. And power? What? Export on. One lousy belt. You know, I wish we they could deliver to here. I wish they could deliver here. Son of a gun. I'm okay with that. You can sit there. Oh, man. Well, there's rubber. Oh, but you know what? Uh-oh. I got to pause this because these knuckleheads can't get the rubber for the belt. Because it goes down the belt too quick for them. I need seven rubber. That's what the problem is. It's the maintenance. So by losing oil, I'm losing the maintenance now. I'm going to lose maintenance. Where is this? Why didn't they take the two? They had it. It was there. They're giving up. I keep clicking on wanting to click on the upgrade. I'm going to quick deliver it because they're just being stupid. Oh, my God. You're driving me nuts. You're killing me, game. I have it on priority. There's seven in there. And a truck is sitting right there, and they won't take it. And then now my acid. Yeah. See, this whole thing, the whole problem is this right here. That's the problem. Where's the oil at? 1182. I mean, we're 
Yeah. Minus 271. That's because we lost those. And, it, you know, again, when you lose something, you are done, skis. Yay, finally. Well, now why is power farting out? This shouldn't be farting out. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover from this because coal's running out. And now we're out of fuel. So I don't know. Well, let's continue on with this because I'd like to end this on a good note. We'll leave it running. Hell with it. All right. But I want to, I'd like to look at, I'd like to get this design going. You know what I mean? So, okay, there we go. So that's done. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, uh, what are we doing? I wonder why it's down there. Oh, we got, and then of course a deadly flu. A deadly freaking flu. Well, we haven't lost people. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. That's what's killing us right now. 25, 30, oh, minus 33. Well, hopefully these household goods get back over here quick. Are they going? Oh, there we go. I could do this. Get this show on the road, man. We're down to 118 unity. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of figured I was going to get to a point. When I started seeing, like, the coal is going down, the coal is going down. But we got to rebuild the oil. We got to get food. We got to do this. We got to do that. You know? Oh, boy. I wonder if maybe the strategy would be you got to be paused more than not. You know, at certain point, you know, you got to build, you got to build up, you got to build, you got to get things running. Oh, wow. Boy, they're chewing up that belt quick, aren't they? Interesting. What is wrong with you? Electronics? Why? Oh, no. Well, whatever. Okay, there we go. All right, you come on. You can come back now. Come on back. 28.3. Oh, Jesus. Everything was going great. I guess it's got to come back. I wonder if it's taken into account that I'm not full. Okay, well, I think that's good now. We got to spend unity on something uh, to to recover here. Now I hope this. Okay, now it's kind of distributing it evenly, more evenly. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Oh boy. Let's check on this. Well, we got something in there. <laughs> we got something. Um, yeah. Okay, let's kick this on. Oh, now, another thing, too, is that with by doing the solar, I'm hoping to relieve the burden off of this so our coal does last a little longer until we can get this up and running, you know. Um, all right, so let's just, you know, we'll let the thing run. We got to let it run. All right, what do we got left here? <laughs> we got to hook water up, and we got to hook... Well, oh, what I was thinking of doing is taking this one and just piping it in here um, temporarily. 48. Yeah, because this can power two, right? So we have two here that so it powers up. So one of these, unfortunately, only powers up two of these. So we would need three of these. Now, we can handle it because that's two. 
We can. I think we can support six of these. So just by doing uranium processing and all that, we should be able to actually increase by two more. Now, the shaft can only handle so much. Wow, look at this, throughput 100%. Holy cow. Why is that saying that? Why? Oh. Interesting. I wonder why it's red. I remember it saying something about it being bad. Should I hook another flywheel up? Let's try it. I got well. I'm willing to try. I don't know what that what that means though. These flywheels take people? Good, they don't. Huh. You know, it's funny because it seems like we have capacity here. I did add a flywheel to this. I remember that. Anyway, we'll let that run. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Well, it's going to take a minute. Oh, here. They're here. Cool. Let's click on this one. I want to see if it helps. Wait a minute. Okay, there it is. Did it drop? Throughput 100%. Maybe it's just saying, you know, you're, you're tapped out. Oh, look at this right here. 2.5. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's 2.5. I mean, it should you should be able to put as many of these flywheels on as necessary up to that red bar. Is what I'm thinking. Maybe that's why I'm browning out, because I don't have enough flywheels. Interesting. Okay. Whatevers. What is going on with you? Slow. Oh, yeah. I took the Unity off. 105 now. How is this? Still imbalanced out if this thing leaves because one of the chambers is empty i'm gonna be pissed this is where i don't mind it unloading one at a time <laughs> let's see 199 98 yeah see it's unloading one at a time huh Nine eighty nine, eighty, eighty nine, eighty six. 89 86 okay i wonder if this empties out then it goes. But minimizing this tra the uh, diesel fuel consumption is just huge in this game. I mean, I knew that going in. I knew that going in way back in episode one. Oh, my God. Well, we got to hook water up to this, and then we got to hook the brine up to this. And then we got to do the filters. So... Um, Transports, yes. Water. What is this water? Um, 90, 95, so we could get away with this. And yeah, what I was thinking is doing is just tying in, t taking these two out, and then just getting the pipe over there, sni uh, snaking it over there, and then it's slowly converting over. So I want to position this so that we can... Well, the solar has to be here. This is a pretty decent sized footprint. Um, I could put this here. I wonder if it would fit. If I put it here, then I could power this up. Um, but on the other hand, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. So anyway, I'm sorry about the episode being... Well, I, I wanted to show the, the crisis management that's going on right now with this save. Um, and then work a little bit on this today. Um, this is slowed down considerably. So I hope that, oh, that's, that's not good. At least we got, nope, we don't have fuel. Oh boy. Yeah. So hopefully this will resolve over time. Now that I've, 
I mean, I got to figure out, you got to figure out the mechanics of the game and what, what does, why things do what they do so you can get around them. See, this is, uh, this is really annoying me. How much is this taken out? 42. 23. So. Yeah, it's only taken out enough to fill what it has. And that forced balanced output thing didn't really work because if something fell empty, then it, it said, oh, I'm not emptying at all. And I'm like, well, what's the point of balancing it then? Oh my god. I might have to do some kind of uh maybe somebody knows how to balance the outputs, but like right now it's just emptying the one, which is fine. I'm alright with that. You know. That unity is kind of scaring me though. Oh. Oh, why does it say that? Now it shows up. Okay. I might have to dial back the wood to build uh, Unity. Um, here it is. Because, um, what was that? 0.8.2 might help. Maybe I'll go back there. I don't know. I have to do something. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end this episode here. We'll carry on. I'll keep... We'll carry on in the next one with the nuclear power. We'll try and get it up and run it at least, you know, and see if we can get through this diesel BS here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the chaos. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.